the relationships that I've had sema kama acha niongee kuhusu condition yangu unajua watu watakuja tofauti tofauti wengine wako na nia tofauti tofauti wengine wengine labda wanataka kuonja wajui iko aje niliambia my girlfriend cannot live in a hostel and share toilets no yeah so i was rented a house uh, in buruburu with some mzungu somewhere and then it was furnished after hapo kanito it was a bed sitter after hapo kanito kanipeleka kwa one bedroom tukakaka alafu tukawachana ta hizo hustle ningekuja pia nikapata mtoi after kupata mtoi acha kila kitu nikakuja kulea mtoto so i stayed home for like two years Hello and good evening from wherever you're watching us from. Karibuni sana to yet another episode of my story here on the Orion Production. So today we are going to have an amazing guest. She is a lady with uh, albinism. She's going to tell us her story from how she grew up uh, to where now she is. She's a TV she's a TV anchor a stroke host on a, a national television here in Kenya she's going to give us her story her journey what she has been through her achievements till now uh, so far so good and uh, before i forget i'd like to thank each and every one of you because you showed massive massive support in our last video together <coughs> we are now at uh, 120 Yeah, thousand views in two weeks it's it's such a just thank you so much guys your support is incredible and i appreciate you very very much keep subscribing keep watching our videos here on the orion production the home of inspiration and uh, without further ado i'd uh, like to introduce my guest and uh, welcome her here at the orion production brenda mambo sana Uh, na furai kwa hapa na na furai kushare story yangu uh, kwa my story um, and i'm hoping to enjoy myself i'm hoping to inspire someone uh, educate someone uh, out there yeah nice uh, tuambie majina zako kamili because i've called you Brenda sijui hiyo nyingine unaitwa aje ndio our viewer akujue yeah kwa majina naitwa Brenda Nabututu. Wekesa, wekesa ndio my surname. Now Brenda Nabututu that's my name. Yeah. Karibu sana Brenda and uh, before tuendele napenda kuuliza guests wangu uh, here at uh, my story we share stories of inspiration. So why is it important to you that you share with us your story today? Uh, because i feel by sharing my story i might change someone's life uh, thoughts mm-hmm. and also enlighten others you know life zile vitu tunapitia na experiences zenye tuko nazo hazifanani so through these uh, experiences through someone's story that's when we get to learn mm-hmm. yeah nice thank you so much because sasa tunajua we know why Brenda is here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So tell us uh, where you were born. Uh, a little bit about your siblings and uh, your parents. Okay. <laughs> First of all I was born in Kitale, Transoya County. Uh, at least that's what that's the information I got from my parents and also from seeing my birth certificate. Um I must um, uh, I must say that uh, I come fr- from a very lucky family though it hasn't been uh, I can say it hasn't been that hard at the same time it hasn't been that easy Um nikizaliwa nakumbuka story mamangu unihadithia ananiambia when I was born uh, my dad wasn't there hakuwa hospitalini lakini he came later so when my mom had me uh, the nurses the doctors were like eh huyu sasa amelala na mzungu walilala na mzungu sasa wacha tuone vile mbona yake akikuja atasema you know uh, to grow ama 
ukienda hospitali you expect at least uh, nurses doctors have knowledge about uh, different conditions That's yeah kama yangu si ilikuwa ni albinism so una expect at least how wako na hint ama wanajua kwa sababu si unajua kama ulifanya biology tunakuwa educated about it so una expect watu kama wao ni watu hawatashtuka lakini sasa chaku, chakushangaza ni kwamba they were the first kuanza kusengenya mamangu akisema mamangu sasa alilala na mzungu sasa acha tuone vile bwana yake akikuja atasema but now to their surprise when my dad came it's like he wasn't surprised alisema huyu ni mtoto wangu na nampenda twende nyumbani and uh, alichukua mamangu in a very welcoming way very loving way asa wende wakabaki tu ni kama wameshikwa na butwa because now what they expected is not what happened yeah so alafu after hapo i'm told my mom niambia hata when i was growing your time ya ya kulea mtoto after ushaza alikuwa tu kazi yake unajua mtu akishaza mtu akijifungua mara mingi unaambiwa usiname if you have to do some chores either ukae ama tu basi usifanye kazi ya tol kwa sababu ya kupona mgongo na pia your reproduction uh, reproductive system So um my mom tells me that my dad yeye yeah, kazi alikuwa anafanya tu ni kutoa ile cho unajua kitambo kulikuwa na napkins mm-hmm. sisi ni wale old school <laughs> so mamangu alikuwa anatoa ile eh, cho yani sijui nitaiweka aje kinyezi alikuwa anatoa alafu babangu ananioshea napkins unaona yeah. so it means that my dad loved me from the start mm-hmm. na labda kama walikuwa na relatives wengine mm-hmm. Uh, sasa sasa alikuwa ni kama hakushtuka sana and then also my mom tells me akiwa mdogo alikuwa anapenda sana kufuata watu wako na albinism but she didn't know why sasa vile nilikuja she embraced me as her as her child yeah. nice na wewe ni mtoto wa ngapi wa your mom and uh, your dad mimi kifungwa kifu mimi mimi <laughs> mimi ndio eh mimi ndio nilifanya mamangu akaacha kuitwa dem uh-huh. eh kwa hiyo familia so um I'm, i am proud kwa sababu family yangu joy kunitenga in fact kama kuna experiences mbaya labda nimekuwa nazo ni nje uh-huh. lakini my family has taught me to be strong uh-huh. na hawakunidekeza sana no uh-huh. i used to work like the other kids tunaenda ushago nini nini ivo yeah na sasa tueleze high school na advanced education kwenye ulienda hapo sasa hapo sasa ndio tunaingia okay high school um after i was done with my primary um i went to a regular school uh primary yangu ilikuwa regular Um so nilikuwa nishazoea though it wasn't that easy because you know persons with albinism wako na shida ya macho kwa sababu ya like, lack of melanin that pigment eh? and you wanna control light for those who don't know sasa so, unajua it wasn't easy but i really tried uh, wazazi walikuwa wanajaribu sana wanaelezea walimu like uh, vile nafaa kukaa mbele nini nini vitu kama hizo i finished my primary then uh, after i was done my parents thought it was good to maybe take me to a blind school uh, kwa sababu they felt that maybe nitakuwa sawa nikikuwa huko but uh, mimi i wasn't for that idea hata kidogo and when i went there sikuwa na unajua kuna mali ukienda una feel si ati shule ilikuwa mbaya mm-hmm. si ati huko si kuzuri mm-hmm. and it's not that people don't perform but sikuwa ni shazo ya maisha ya kukaa kwa like watu wa aina moja ama watu wa aina fulani wamekaa mali pamoja mimi nilikuwa ni shazo ya kuinteract na watu so it wasn't easy for me mm-hmm. ilikuwa ni kama kuwekwa kwa kakun mm-hmm. Sasa tulikuwa na vita na wazazi wangu nilikuwa na shida nikiwaambia ni toeni kwa hiyo shule ni toeni kwa hiyo shule but hao wanaona ai mimi nafaa kwa hiyo shule. Sasa nilitumia tu njia ya kusumbua sana. <laughs> nilikuwa very rude at times, nilikuwa very cheeky. 
nilisumbua sana in fact i was given several suspensions i'm sorry to say this yani it was it was my way of speaking out yeah. because whenever i used to talk to them walikuwa naona tu ni kama sita wa blame kwa sababu they thought it was good for me but mimi nilikuwa naona ni poa niende mali pengine but i'm not saying that the school is bad no it is a very very good school the teachers were nice and all that but it wasn't my thing so nakumbuka nilisumbua sana paka nikatolewa pale sasa wazazi wakasema ah wewe umetukula kichwa sana sasa wewe tutakupeleka ushago sasa hapo sasa ndio life yangu sasa ika change kwa sababu huko kwingine siku na experience uh, dis- discrimination sababu nakuta high school hapo hivyo kuna watu kama mimi nini so nilikuwa tu sawa na when i went to shags i they thought sasa nikaenda huko sitasumbua waliona nilikuwa nimemea pembe kabisa so when i went to shags eh, lafu unajua kuna hiyo climate change lafu kuna hiyo watu wajazoea kuona mtu kama wewe ni rea ni rea unajua siku hizi ndio tumekuwa wazungu wengi acha niseme wazungu because yes yeah so kwenda kwa hiyo shule watu wananiangalia ni kama mtu strange alafu unajua vile na strain kuona kwa ubao kwa kuangalia vitabu yes nilikuwa na, na specs mm. lakini still i used to strain nilikuwa na kale ka telescope mm. but still ungeona huyu ni mtu ana struggle kuona kwa na shida ya macho mm. so unajua watu kukuongea ongea mm. alafu kitu ikakuja ikatokea zaidi ni uh, kitu kibaya zaidi ni Uh, climate change can affect sasa nikaanza kukuwa na vitu kama blisters kama boil yani unakuwa na vidonda uh, vidonda zinafura and then zinatoka maji na damu all that because of new climate change sasa unajua watu wanasema eh hey, hata mimi siwezi kula nyama karibu na ye. yani hakuna mtu anataka kusimama na wewe hakuna mtu anataka kusimama na wewe hata kwa ukienda kukula na unajua lazima ukule kwa sababu shuleni huwa wakubali chakula from outside so it was so it was a very bad experience for me hapo ndio sasa nilianza ku feel it's like the world is falling apart nikaanza kidogo kulaumu Mungu mbona aliniumba hivyo mbona alinileta mali kama hapo kama alijua nitapitia vitu kama hizo cuz you see now wazazi si wako mbali wale watu nimezoeana nao si wako mbali and um, sasa nikakuwa hivyo nikajaribu kuongea na mamangu akajaribu vile nitaenda kutibiwa ni nini ni hivyo hivyo alafu sasa nikaona ai hapana hey, this is not me Uh, I am not born to be a failure. I must do something. Hata kama sioni vizuri, I need to read hard. I need to work hard. I need to prove to uh, to, to to prove something. Hata wazazi wangu wajue eh uh, huyu anaweza soma. Hata kama tulimtoko kuingine, wacha tu uh, anaweza soma. So nakumbuka yani watu walikuwa zile za washanitenga sasa nimeshika ile time pia mimi nishajitenga so my only thing the only thing remaining sasa ni kusoma zaidi kuliko wale wengine ndio uweze ku, ku, kupita mtiani yani uweze at least ukue na kitu ya kusema now this is me so hata sikuwa na lala ikifika saa tatu usiku um, time ya So, unajua huwa tunakuwa na tuna, mtu sana sana ukiwa boarding school si mnaenda sapa around 6:30 by 7 you are supposed to be mmenda preps so it time ya preps mimi sikuwa mtu wa kusoma sana time yenye watu wanasoma mimi nilikuwa ule mtu wa kusoma saa zenye watu wamelala so naenda by saa tatu naenda na na lala watu wakishalala naamka na soma na soma na soma na soma mpaka kitu kama saa kumi. Mm-hmm. lafu na lala for okay nitalala maybe mpaka kitu from saa 3 nitalala maybe by 12 mm-hmm. nitaamka 12 nitasoma mpaka kitu kama saa kumi. so what i used to do is uh, uh, try and uh, summarize notes uh, na na kusoma ahead hivyo 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 hiyo ndio kitu ile kwa sababu hata wakati mwingine nilikuwa naogopa hata kwenda kwa mwalimu ku, 
kumuuliza kwa sababu unaona ushatengwa lakini walimu wako wamenitenga yeah so nikaanza hivyo nikaanza hivyo nikaanza kuperform vizuri kuperform vizuri and, and then watu wakaanza kusema hey kumbe she has brains you know hivyo 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 hata hiyo mambo ya ya ngozi kaisha unajua i, I think inakuanga inaanzia kwa akili ukishajikubali hata pia mwili na ina flow kila kitu ina flow unaona hata ile time mwenye uko na stress una vile mwili inakuwa affected lakini kama umepunguza ume hiyo stress ambayo umeiondoa si unaona unangara una glow <laughs> so hivyo ndio nilikuwa nikaanza kuperform tena watu wakaanza sasa wao ndio wananifuata ni waeleze sasa hiyo hiyo nini hiyo kuni discriminate ikae kwa kando na ulienda nini hiyo shule ya ushago ulienda kuanzia form ulienda kuanzia form 3 lakini i had to repeat so, unajua sijui kama siku hizi bado watu wana repeat lakini mimi nilibidi nirudi nyuma tena ndio at least niweze ku catch up na na wengine nilikuja nikazoea nikakuwa Brenda ule ule famous Brenda ule <laughs> the naughty and cheeky Brenda yani yeah na wakanizoea hivyo hivyo na wakanipenda hivyo hivyo so kitu ningependa kuambia watu pia hakuna uh, kitu rahisi everything has a growing process you have to start from somewhere na in every situation ukijikubali kila kitu itakukubali unaona so hata kama watu wataku discriminate it's up to you to show them that this is who i am uh, learn to make uh, the best uh, out of what you have Yeah? Yes I am like this I am beautiful but I want to look more beautiful so it's up to me as a person yeah Mungu anaumba kila mtu na sababu labda alijua nikiwa mweusi nitakuwa kichwa ngumu sana sasa akaamua acha nifanye hivi lakini sijawahi ku regret eh, kuwa hivi in fact I always take advantage of being the way I am and I I appreciate and I love myself so much Yeah. Ah. Passing over to your father studies. Mahali ulienda kufanya father studies course yenye ulifanya. Mm-hmm. How did you perform kwanza pale nini high school after kujitahidi na kujikubali? Nilipo perform vizuri. Nilipo perform vizuri after that I went to college. Uh, college pia tena mambo tu ya macho kwa sababu kitu ile mzazi alikuwa anataka nifanye mimi sikuwa nataka kufanya. Mm-hmm alikuwa anataka nifanye mambo ya business mara nursing lakini mimi sikuwa huko <laughs> mimi nilikuwa kwa mambo ya fashion and design product design yani hiyo ndio ilikuwa kwa akili yangu tu na mambo ya usanii sanii because i used to write songs and i used to dream of being a very big ah nice <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> mambo ya usanii usanii ndio ilikuwa kwa kwa akili yangu so nikangangana nikasoma nikasoma soma but unajua hii nchi yetu ukishasoma hiyo mambo ya product design and fashion design eh, mambo ya kuandikwa ni ni, ni rare so maybe ujifanyie uh, ya yeah. so nime, nikafanya fanya vitu zingine pia na main challenge yangu tu imekuwa macho Mm, I think ni vile wewe mwenyewe unajichukua ndio watu wengine watakuchukua. Mm. And uh, having a disability or maybe if you are blind doesn't mean that you you don't have brains. Mm. Kama una maybe ule mavu wa mguu haimaanishi uwezi kufika town. Mm. Si ni ukweli. Mm. Yeah, so I believe everything is possible where there's a, uh where there's a will. Yeah, yeah, and troubles are not great. So it's all up to you. Yeah, tuseme hata kama wewe kama ungeamua kufanya, kama ungesema mimi kama fulani naweza kufanya hii. Haungefanya. Si ndio ungekuwa tu pale kwa nyumba kusema hii nataka kuwa kama fulani. But now you are here because you believe in yourself. Yeah, that is true. So now I want to ask you Uh, the reaction ya your extended family mm-hmm. because you've told us that uh, your familia yako wewe na your parents na your siblings mm-hmm. wali 
kukubali vizuri kabisa they've given you the most love you've experienced the most love from them yeah. how was now the extended family's reaction um siwezi jua such but what i could see ni tu maybe watu wamesimama mali wana kuongelea venye maybe unaangalia vitu na nikiwa nikiwa mdogo na kumbuka saa zingine unajua nilikuwa nakatazwa kwenda kucheza kwa jua because now uh, if you're a person with al- albinism due to lack of melanin unakuta mara mingi if you don't know how to protect yourself from the harmful rays of the sun you get burnt and uh, mimi si kwanza kupaka sunscreen kitambo Mm, nilikuwa tu na ngozi mzuri thank god hata my mama alikuwa ananiambia mimi sikuwa na napi rush yeah so mungu alinibariki tu na ngozi poa and um, nikiwa mdogo saa zingine watoto walikuwa wananitoroka <laughs> in, 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 kwanza ile time ya mnacheza sijui mnacheza briki cho wenye watoto ucheza unakuta sasa we si time yako ya kufanya hiyo ni nini imefika na hauoni <laughs> Sasa <laughs> watu wako huko wanaona vile unahangaika kuna jo unahangaika kufanya hivi hauwaoni so wanakucheka and then bado unakuta umekuwa na sunburns na ulikatazwa na mzazi usiende usiende kucheza so kisha kwa na hizo sunburns by the way it's very painful una experience as ngine unakuta pia unafura unafura and then inatoka maji as it heals inakauka ikishakauka tena ina crack tena uanze kutoa ngozi that is what happens you know when a person with albinism akikuja kwa kwa ama kama ni kazi uh, let's try to work with them in a place that is friendly yani place yenye iko exposed sana and also hata hii mambo ya meko pia saa zingine na to affect unajua mtu anaweza kwenda mali mtu anafikiria labda huyu ana ringa but it's not that because the pain ni kama kuchomeka na moto it's not it's not a joke hebu mm. imagine kama wewe unaweza kuchomeka na jua unasikia jua ina kuchoma mimi nitasikiaje yeah so hii ndio ilikuwa experience yangu hata ushago unaona watoto wengine ama mtu anakuja na kuguza hivi <laughs> aone and you know with the Uh, persons with albinism ukimguza hivi kuna ukiangalia kuna ka white kana baki sasa mtu anashindwa mbona hiyo white inabaki ama alafu anafanya hivi aone kama ya yeah, unasikia he damu ya huyo ni ya green damu ya huyo ni ya nini nikiwa mdogo ndio nilikuwa na nilikuwa sikuwa nimeelewa nilikuwa naona saa zingine ni kama wazazi wananionea but they were just trying to to protect you know jua mtoto utamkataza lakini we kama umeenda kazini si atatoka nakumbuka hata tukitokea kwa dirisha siku moja <laughs> tumefungiwa kwa nyumba imagine tusiende kucheza nje and then mimi na kirere yangu nimetoka nimetokea kwa dirisha but mbaya nikaanguka nikavunjika mkono you know eh uh, sometimes uh, tunafanya vitu as kids but it's a, it's 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 part of experience so Eh, maisha yangu imekuwa tu hivyo and then as i grew up nikalan kuji accept kujipenda yeah and uh, is there a point ama ya yeah, point yenye ushawahi sikia umefika mwisho because of you having albinism unasikia mahali life imenifika hapa so far kwa sababu mimi ni wale watu even if i am in a relationship with you I come fast. Mm. You have to accept me the way I am ama uende zako. Na na unigaramie. In fact, lazima ukwe unaweza afford sunscreen yangu. Yeah, size it ndio tunapewa. Lakini what happens ile time haiko? Eh? Hey? Na labda mimi sija sijapata pesa. We unafaa unionyeshe unaweza garamia. So, um mimi sijawahi fika hapo instead ni me learn to appreciate to any to make myself more beautiful hata saa zingine huwa nasahau at a person with albinism like kuva kofia kwangu i'm not saying that watu wasiva kofia people have different skin skin types mai ni mungu alinibariki kitambo hicho mwe yes i apply sunscreen but i only apply once and i only uh, apply uh, kwa uso na huku na maybe shingo but huko kwa miguno so mungu mimi alinibariki but there are some people that uh, have to keep on applying yeah time to time maybe joki kwa kali so mimi hata bwana asahau 
in fact what una slay mm. na yani na yani na furai tu kwanza vile watu wananiangalia wanasema he na sikia tu he na ko smart anakaa kama mzungu yeah you know those things motivate you hakuna mtu apendi kuambiwa ko smart si ndio yeah so you have to make the best out of yourself hakuna kinyesikia hivyo hata nikienda out hai na dance kama watu wengine mpaka wasio na wengine wanasikia hivyo kwa sababu wanaume wao si wananiangalia wanaangalia kwa sababu wanasema hey, kwa nini ni mzungu na na dance aje you know yeah now that's me sijawahi fika hapo maybe tu tuseme challenges za life tu zile za kawaida kama vile mtu mwingine anaweza ku experience yeah that is so good because i've known you for some time Brenda na najua vile wewe huwa unajinini the way vile huwa una slay so i'm a witness of that Brenda is so good at making herself look peng kabisa from head to toe na hacho kangi kila siku kila siku kila siku you know there will never be another you there'll never be an- another you so just live today mm. even if you are in a relationship mm. don't stop taking care of your of yourself mm. because you feel that maybe you are stressed or someone is stressing you yani kaanga soko kila wakati kaanga ni kaa uko soko kila wakati ndio akileta mchezo madhe ni kama tu maisha ni kama gari wewe kuna wenye wanashuka kuna wenye wanapanda kuna wenye wanaekea sambaza na bado wanavumilia wanakaa so kanga ni kaa uko soko kila wakati jo hata ukikufa leo usijiambia tu utareplaceiwa mtu atakumuona na atapata mwingine na maisha itaendelea so we kuwa soko kila wakati hata kama uko na mtu wewe kuwa soko ndio akileta mchezo ah wewe pia unapita <laughs> Muna? Eh? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Sawa, tutashikilia tu hapo kwa hiyo ma- maneno ya soko kwa sababu tukirudi Brenda anataka utueleze soko imekuwa aje kwa sababu umetuambia tukaanga tukua soko kila wakati. Yeah, we'll be right back after this break. Sorry. Eh, Brenda atueleze maneno ya soko and henceforth. Do you know your story can inspire, encourage and uplift someone who has lost hope in life? If you wish to share your story with Orion Production, kindly reach us at my story through our email address theorionproduction@gmail.com or through our WhatsApp number 0728654867 or call us on 0708286012. Visit us on all our social media platforms on YouTube the Orion Production on Instagram the underscore orion underscore production on tiktok the dot orion dot production don't forget to subscribe follow like comment and share the orion production home of inspiration welcome back guys from that short break we are still here with uh, brenda and abututu who is our guest today na tulikuwa tume shikilia kwa soko <laughs> Brenda alituambia kila ukuu unakaa kwa soko ukuu unakaa ni kama uko kwa soko kila kila time kila wakati ka uko umengara tu ka Brenda so now Brenda eh umetufikishia pale umemaliza your college studies now you are you are a growing girl and uh, from what we can see even right now <laughs> ata wewe our viewer ukiwa pale home unaona Brenda Mungu alimuonekania <laughs> Mungu alimuonekania vizuri sana. Eh? <laughs> Nashukuru tu Mungu. Yeah, see it, it's been a journey. Eh, si uzi sema hapa ndio nilianzia. Uh, it's a growing process. And like I said, um, it, it, it it takes you. It has to start with you as a person. Na hii mambo ya soko vile nimesema lazima ukae tu nikao kwa soko. Eh hey, uwe kakonda uwe kinono uwe mrefu uwe mweusi you have to make the best yani unajua saa zingine hii tukikuja hapa labda nyasi inaweza kuwa ina kaa vibaya vibaya ama saa zingine ukiona mali labda kume kumewachiliwa si ni lazima patengenezwe ndio watu waanze kwa admire it's the same thing yeah it's the same sasa wewe soko uliingia wakati gani mwaka gani <laughs> soko ulikanyanga lini <laughs> okay. soko yangu soko nili, nilianza mimi soko nilianza nikiwa high school eh, lakini si kufanya mambo mambo uh, like, like 
nilikuwa pale katikati kama niko innocent ni kama siko you know ukiwa in that uh, adolescent uh, stage unataka anga kukanika unajua you know you behave it's like you know everything but you don't know so i was in that state and um i just see it as a, as an experience of a lifetime I, no regrets about it kwa sababu imeni imeni fanya imeni mold imefanya nikakuwa tough you know the earlier the better but i'm not saying that you start eating fruits earlier <laughs> no but at least know what you want in life and then after high school now um and asema after high school now unajua ile high school ni ile like uh, yani mnaona ni kama you spend life together ni ni nini but sasa kuna ile huko nje sasa ile real life sasa and yani ka experience pia hiyo sijatritiwa vibaya i'm not saying that i've not had heartbreaks but thank god that uh, almost all the relationships that i've had i don't know whether it's because i just love myself so much ama sijui labda ni nini lakini sijatritiwa vibaya ati juu ya my condition no in, instead most of the time i am always appreciated i am shown uh, love i am, am shown love unakuta hata mtu akitembea na wewe ako proud ako proud to be with you yeah and you know um ukiwa kwa hii sema kama acha niongee kuhusu condition yangu unajua watu watakuja tofauti tofauti wengine wako na nia tofauti tofauti mm-hmm. wengine wengine labda wanataka kuonja wajui iko aje wengine wanataka tu wengine wako serious yeah but uh, sijakuwa na negative comment Mm-mm. so far so good soko so ni safi <laughs> ah soko iko tu sawa maybe ndio hata inafanya na kuwa na kiburi zaidi eh hey. yeah. maybe unaona <laughs> hey. eh sasa hata si mi sina sinanga wasiwasi mm-hmm. yes na experience uh, heartbreaks kama mtu mwingine na zile hardships zile challenges za relationships lakini ati nikuje ati jua ati ni venye nakaa hivi ai wewe unanikosea mi narudi soko naongelesha the next person tunaendelea eh hey, ni hivyo kama unataka vizuri peleka ngombe kwetu ni shughulikie lakini nyingine ati uh, my girlfriend ni nini nini mm-hmm. Mi nitakuwa na focus kwa mwenye ananigaramia kwa sababu everything every woman has a price yeah. siwezi sema kwa sababu hata mzazi wangu akinilea hakunilea for free si ni ukweli so mimi usema kama mwanaume anakutaka kama anaona unangara i'm not saying that akuwe sponsor lakini lazima awe anaweza pia kukushughulikia ku maintain hiyo nini yako si ati akuje hapo akutumie na njaa zake na nini nini alafu wewe umejiofa for free you know afadhali mtu aseme wewe ni gold digger but you know you know you are worth eh? someone that can appreciate you someone that can take care of you sio mtu anasema tu uko smart na nywele juu litengenezaje nini ngua juu na vaaje eh? mtu anataka uende kumuona na hata hajui maybe umekopa fair eh? you know so mimi na feel uh, relationship is all about sacrifice a relationship is an investment whether we like it or, or not the time you you you, you take uh, ata kuongea na mtu ata kukaa tu na mtu ata kununua hiyo credit kupigia mtu hiyo ni investment so tusiseme ati oh gharama gharama ukitaka kitu lazima ugaramie mm. Oh, awesome. Mm. I feel like we should be having you Brenda here <laughs> after every like occasionally because mm. uh, apart from story yako mm. you have a lot of lessons uh, for us mm. but I had yapo mahali tumefika mm. like mimi nasikia ni kama nilikuwa ka class class ya ka class ya psychology una hiyo 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 nini imekuja na experience ndio nakwambia vile una experience ndio vile una unakuwa una stronger yeah so haijakuwa that easy but like i said it has to start with you it takes you as a person if i am coming into your life if i want a relationship with you if it is friendship kama ni a romantic relationship 
kama nimeji accept then you learn how to accommodate yourself into my life i am not the one learning to accommodate myself because you are the one that wants to wants to be with me right yes it's a two way lakini now eh ni uh, ni value gani una add kwa maisha yangu it's not all about money but kuna vitu zingine kuna kimawazo kuna ile support to you know ni value gani una una add kwa sababu kama tuseme kama ni mambo ya ngono si tulizaliwa na tukaipata na tunakufa na tunaiacha hmm? so kama relationship is all about that ni pangu it doesn't make sense but if we can build each other then you know make sense kwangu kabisa if you can be my friend eh? aside from uh, that uh, other sexual activities if we can still roll um kama bado tuna flow tuna vibe even after sex then you're my person you know i when it comes to friendship ya kawaida iwe msichana na msichana ama mvulana na na msichana kama tunaweza yani if i can be myself around you Now that's a good relationship. Kama naweza kujani kwambie hey, nyambu ni hivi na hivi I feel free then that's that's a good uh, type of friendship. Lakini ile like I have to dress well uh, kama niko na nyambu I have to speak like this I have to slay siweze nda mali na wewe kama niko hivi now. Mimi pangu yeye make sense. Yeah. Nice. Eh uh, umesema hivyo about trying to be some type of way when yeah. you're with somebody yeah. nikakumbuka kuna mtu alisema yeah. na sidhani ni tai sahau yeah. alisema she's a, she's a lady she's a known lady ni tv host yeah. kama wewe yeah. eh, alisema that she wishes she knew yeah. that trying much harder ukiwa mdogo yeah. is kujaribu sana kungangana sana ukiwa mdogo yeah for very little benefits mm. high make sense mm. alikuwa anasema ana wish mm. angejua tu hangejaribu that hard mm. for those men when alikuwa na work in her early 20s <laughs> yeah. ati hange ngangana hivyo sana the same way that wewe unasema mm. and uh, ili it touched me somewhere because mm. uh, at this age tuko wadogo at those uh, when you're below 25 mm. you feel the urge to try harder yeah, you want to please someone you 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 strive to please uh, someone that is not even uh, striving mm-hmm. yeah uh, for me it has to be you call us paid as paid yeah. yangu yangu ni two way if mm-hmm. you're not if you're not calling me i'm not calling you if you're not texting i'm not texting <laughs> yeah if you're not calling someone else will yeah. if you're not texting me someone else will so i uh, see mimi singangani na sisemi ati niko na roho ngumu ati saa zingine si sina yani si wari i do but kuna ile place nilifika kwa life yangu nikasema liwe liwalo kama ni yangu ni yangu na kama si yangu uh, si taenda out of my way to do something kama wewe unaenda out of your way to do something for me i will do the same but now if it is uh, sasa ati yo mimi ndio ni kama na kubeg hakuna mtu alizaliwa aliumbwa na Mungu kama bargain kwa hii yes unajua hatutoshani kuna wenye wako na ulemavu kuna wenye hawana lakini kumbuka hata wewe mwenye hana ulemavu mimi usema everyone um, is disabled in their own way yes huyu hana ulemavu lakini ako na mashida zake ako na magonjwa yake so Mungu alitumba hivyo na sababu so that kwanza ni, ni kwa sababu yani ndio tusimsahau kwa sababu imagine tungepewa kila kitu ai hata tungekuwa tunakumbuka you know but mimi sema ishi maisha yako eh usi 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 strive to please watu kama wewe mwenyewe hauko pleased hivyo utaishi ukiwa sawa and then also usikuwe na expectations mingi kwa binadamu because binadamu ni mtu anaweza ku let down unaweza kuja unisaidie leo na mimi nikifika mahali ni kukane mm. ndio tutakuwa ushabaki so kama unasaidia mtu ama hata kama ni relationship ama if you maybe if you want to engage with someone especially for women we have this problem of having too much expectations when it comes to relationships kwanza mm. easy friends with benefits mm. nasikia and then kuna easy romantic like you end up giving yourself to someone because uh, 
you think that this person is going to love you but what you don't understand is kama mtu akupendi akupendi na hakuna vile sasa ati atakuja akupende hapana anaweza amua kukaa tu na wewe kwa sababu ah, ni wewe ndio uko available at, at, at that time so tujue wasi yetu kama binadamu especially as women let's know our worth usi 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 settle for less at kwa sababu you feel oh I'm like this so oh, I am uh, miaka imeenda so wacha sijui niweke mtu okay for those that wanataka kuwekana ni life yenu lakini mimi wanasema kila mtu aishi maisha yake kama we una, una feel ukifanya hiki tu una feel una feel poa ifanye while you're still alive yeah That is so good. I hope that you'll allow us to have you some other time yeah. and uh, have a discussion, mm. a very serious discussion about some of these two issues yenye sisi watu wadogo tunapitia and uh, there is no voice kama hiyo yako Brenda ya kutuambia ukweli. You know people fear the truth. Of course. No one, no one wants to be told the truth yeah. because the truth hurts. Mm. No we Uh, we hope to have you some other time yeah. to ambie you tell us straight to the point straight to the eye that yes no you're worthy yes this then yeah. this will happen this and these are the consequences mm. you should change here yeah. yeah i think we'll have a, another session mm. uh, about that discussion mm. haya tukisonga sasa mm-hmm. umemaliza akole mm-hmm. umemaliza college mm-hmm. sasa tupeleke na rada vile kutafuta How, yeah, kutafuta kazi vile ulianzia mpaka sasa vile ukajipata uko hapo eh uh, sema kweli nili hustle sana and then unajua nilikuwa nyumbani unajua kusha, kusha, kusha. kwanza mimi nili nilimaliza high school nikakaa nyumbani and then vile nilikuwa nakaa nyumbani i used to feel it's like nafungiwa sana i used to feel that this is not what i want you know artists have that life that is ani na kuanga eh wako na my imagination zingine kubwa kubwa so hii nilikuwa na dreams zingine kubwa kubwa ani kwa home kwetu sasa hizo ni kwanza maisha ina bo i'm not saying that it is the worst place but you know ukisha grow kuna vile tu you want you want your freedom sasa nilikuwa pale ah No, na tuyo life ya kufungiwa ina ni bo na no, tukitoka huko nje na ka, kama mshamba ju watu wako updated huko nje mi mi mazee mi tu niko nyuma tu mpaka yeah so um Mungu akanisaidia nikaenda college and you know when I was going to college I told my mama unajua mimi naenda na sirudi mimi si, sitaishi hapa mimi mm. nimeshachoka na hii life yenu ya <laughs> kunichunga, kunichunga chunga so I started living alone when I was around uh, 19 years mm. yeah and um i first uh, lived in a hostel mm. and then after some time hey eh nikapata ka mtu eh ka sponsor acha niseme ukweli na kakani rentishia nyumba in fact my first house ya kuishi ilikuwa 9k eh hostel nilikuwa nalipiwa na someone uh, i'd like to appreciate so much anaitwa dr choksi she paid part of my college fee also uh, i really appreciate her because she's she has been a mother to me yes i have a mother no one can re- replace my mom but her uh, we were ni very special also now after po si ni karentishiwa nyumba sasa si nikajua sasa kuishi sasa mapenzi ku unajua sasa mimi niliingia hapo kwa hiyo nafikiri ndio maana niko na kiburi nionyesha you are very special eh niliambia my girlfriend cannot live in a hostel and share toilets no yeah so i was rented a house uh, in buruburu with some mzungu somewhere and then it was furnished after hapo kanitoa it was a bed sitter after hapo kanitoa kanipeleka kwa one bedroom tukakaka alafu tukawachana eh sasa hapo unajua sikuwa nimeanza kazi because he used to provide for me na unajua something bad about some sponsors ni hawataki uko independent ukimwambia nifungulie biashara ama nitafutie job anasema no eh wacha wacha tu yani kuna vile anakuzungusha zungusha nikafika mm-hmm. time nikaona niko na goals and uh, sitaishi tu niki niki 
nikitegemea mtu mm. na unajua pia as much as utapewa kila kitu lakini it can never be enough so after hapo tukaachana sadly but uh, someone that took very good care of me mm. yeah. uh, kwanza we met in a matatu <laughs> Wacha vile mnaniona hivi nakwambia nilikuwa ka slim akia Mungu I was very slim for those that know me know that I used to be very slim hata wanashangaa siku hizi kuniona so yeye yeah, alikuwa ananipenda vile niko hivyo slim eh, after kuishi kidogo vizuri nikaanza kunenepa kunenepa tukaanza kuwa na shida kwa sababu na nenepa nini nini tukakuwa tuna differences zetu za kawaida za relationship after sasa unajua niliachana na yeye unajua sasa nime nimerudi nyuma juu sasa sina mtu though alinisaidia saidia and how old was he eh <laughs> hata kusema wajua tu <laughs> wajua tu alikuwa sponsor <clears throat> hapo nimesema tu kweli alikuwa sponsor but he was a good man eh alinifanya nikajua vitu mingi na nikakuwa na kiburi e, na nikakuwa na kiburi yenye sasa hii nimefura hiyo kichwa sasa hii niko na experience sasa um, after hapo sasa ikabidi nianze kutafuta kazi kwanza nikafungiwa nyumba at one point mm-hmm. and uh, he was married sorry to cut you short he was married of course when i met this guy Eh, kitu kwanza ilichangia mimi kuachana naye ni when i met him he he lied to me that he had separated with the wife and you know i used to go to his place i knew the house girl kumbe now the wife said that were separate ni ile tu the wife most of the time alikuwa anaishi nje you know so angekuja nichukue niende kwake nikae for some days and you know he used to take very good care of me such that alikuwa anasema kuna vile mm. ati nikitaka kwenda kwetu ananikujia na gari anasema hapana utaingia kwa matatu tena upatane na mtu mwingine ukatiwe so after hapo um, i came to learn about it unajua hizi simu hizi mm. simu by the way ni mbaya sana kwa sababu zinauza watu wengi zinaharibia watu wengi you know there was a time my phone had problems so he gave me one one of his phones mm-hmm. and i had stayed with it for quite for quite some time but mm-hmm. siku moja nikiwa nimeboeka nikasema eh hey, buniende kwa recordings kwenda kwa recordings nasikia mwanamke analia nasema you don't touch me you don't you know a woman complaining crying and you see now it was like he was recording yeah? just maybe to go and show it to the to their friend uh, to friends or something and you see um someone that can do that hata kama huyu mwanamke alikuwa mbaya labda huyu ni mtu anaheshima kitu cha kwanza you don't do that um so nikajua hivyo and then nikamuuliza tukakuwa na hizo differences unaona after that sasa trust ikaisha mm-hmm. na unajua trust ikiisha kwa relationship ni hivyo mm-hmm. eh ni hivyo juu sasa utakuwa uta ukijua we umekuwa ukijua hakuna mtu alafu mm-hmm. unajua sasa kuna mm-hmm. kuna mtu so utaona anaanza sasa kukudanganya oo mm-hmm. hapo ndio tulianza kuwa na differences sasa tuniliingia kwa relationship nikijua hako na mtu Mm-mm. niliingia nikijua hana mtu mm. eh yeah. yeah so after hapo nikaanza kutafuta kazi sasa ndio maisha yangu sasa ikaingia sasa ile maisha real yeah. nikatafuta kazi nikapata kazi as a product designer at a certain company mm. but it, it was really tough because the, the work was a lot mm and wanalipa pesa kidogo na wanachelewa kulipa at the same time i remember vitu zangu si nilif, nilifungiwa nyumba ni, zikawekwa mali hata zingine zilipotea mm. so i went to live with a friend na na huyo rafiki that friend is someone that i had helped mm-hmm. some time back uh, she was a house help mahali mm-hmm. akanipigia simu siku nyingine akaniambia amefukuzwa ana ajuma alipa kwenda na mimi nilikuwa naenda ushago nikamwambia utafanya hivi utakuja kwangu kwa sababu mimi eh, naenda ushago lakini we kuja tu uka okay, you can imagine nikam trust hivyo mm. but now when it came to her turn mm. hmm, sasa unajua nilikuwa na challenge hatulipu ya on time mm. eh hey, nilikam nilikai vi like uh, one month akaniambia itabidi 
kama unataka kukaa hapa uli parent yeah, yeah. Mm. na mimi nilienda nikamwachia nyumba yangu for three weeks without ikiwa na gas na na okay haikuwa na chakula but nilimwachia mm. aliniambia itabidi ni parent so tukakuwa na na some some differences tena kaniwekea vitu zangu nje kanibidi tena nirudi nyumbani niende kukaa huko kidogo nikijipanga panga and then after all that's when i met someone again um a guy and that i will forever be grateful to kwa sababu alinionesha mapenzi tena and he took care very good care of me Yeah so mimi experiences zangu na relationship si mbaya sana. Mm. Yeah so that's it nika hustle hustle hivyo hivyo nika jaribu pia kufungua biashara. Yaani maisha yangu imekuwa ni kama kupanda na shuka kama kila mtu una hustle maybe job inaisha nafungua biashara mimi napenda kupika sana. So biashara zenye zenye nimefanya sana sana ni mambo ya mapishi. Ni ile saa zingine unasema okay sina pesa ya kufungua mahali but I can do it from the house and then maybe supply. Yeah, so I've done uh, a lot of food business. Uh, nimefungua hoteli, nimefanya nini? Yeah, nata yuko kufungua hoteli. Watu wanakula wana chakula wanasema ni tamu, alafu wanasema nani amepika hii? Wanaambia ni ule wanasema, "Ai, ni yeye kweli. Unajua kuna ile pia sunona hapo watu waamini, watu wanaangalia ngozi kwanza. Ni yeye kweli amepika hivi?" Na watu wanasema, "Eh, hey, ni yeye." You know, and uh, something about me. Yes, najua life yangu venye iko. Lakini sijaijiweka pale nikasema ati hey, sasa juu kuna jua. In fact kuna time nakumbuka I used to prepare food na mimi mwenyewe na deliver na niko na mfanyikazi. Hata siangalie hiyo jua because I'm looking for money. Unakuta una, unaenda some quite a distance. Kuna customers wako kwa nyumba and wataki kunini kushuka so you go you, you you go and deliver the meal because you're the one that needs the money as much as they need your services too but now when do not after pesa na ni chakula iwezi ka hapo so eh, experience yangu tu ni normal kama ya watu wengine um nimefanya biashara na size nafanya kazi siwezi kusema ati kuwa na albinism imeni imenifanya ai uh, nikashindwa kufanya kazi shida tu kujia tu pale mali pa macho lakini upishi na macho mm. 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 na sasa tuguzie kidogo vile ulijipata at now your current place of work utuambie ni wapi kazi yenye unafanya hapo yes oh. <laughs> <laughs> my current place of work also um mimi kujipata nafanya kazi science tv as a host i have two shows i have the tupiki show ni mambe napenda mambo ya kupika sana alafu pia napenda masuala ya mapenzi sana <laughs> you guys should watch out for the night lovers show coming very soon and also the tupiki show um okay me coming uh, to science i must say first of all science is a very good place uh mtu kufanya kazi science na kuambia ni ni mali pazuri ni mali kuna amani mali ukui unafuatwa kila wakati i just feel it's a very it's one of the best uh, place that one uh, could work ama could get employed um kabla ni kuje science um, nilikuwa nimefungua biashara ya hoteli alafu corona ikakuja vile corona ilikuja unajua penye oh, nilikuwa nime, nime, nimeweka hoteli kulikuwa na very many students in fact at first i worked for my mom um, i used to manage uh, the place tulikuwa na hoteli alafu ndio baadaye pia nikakuja nikafungua yangu after tulifunga hiyo kwa sababu ya mambo ya corona au students ilibidi waende nyumbani because there was no school people were to stay at home so it affect biashara nikakuja nikajaribu yangu pia kuna vile ika hai kuenda vizuri so i decided uh, si umesoma si you are good at this yeah why don't you go why don't you go to science tv mm-hmm. and uh, look for a job but before that i used i used to i had started training as a dj mm-hmm. though si kumaliza but 
<laughs> nilikuwa nimeanza nilikuwa nimejichosha nikasema ah, hata mimi naweza hii maneno you know mm-hmm. but still i took a chance to come to science mm-hmm. and um na as i said my the response wasn't bad but i had volunteered for quite some time i came in with an idea of a show mm-hmm. Uh, that i felt yes niko na hii talent na jua kuongea naweza ongea watu wanisikize can bring in guests why don't i try it out mm-hmm. instead of just sitting at home and saying that hakuna kazi mm-hmm. yeah so they saw my effort mm-hmm. and i remember one uh, one time i had been invited as a guest here also to come and cook mm-hmm. Um nikafanya hivyo and then host wa hiyo show pia kaniuliza kama ningependa kuwa host na kamwambia why not mm-hmm. aka suggest but it's like bado haikuwa approved mm-hmm. and then your baadaye i think after pia kuona ile effort yangu uh, the hr that was there mm-hmm. uh, can i recommend mm-hmm. and yeah now i am here mm-hmm. yeah and, and i'm very happy although i've had my own challenges at work also mm-hmm. it can't it can never be that smooth mm-hmm. always lazima wasa zingine unateleza unajigonga kidogo you know hata gari ikiwa mpya saa zingine inapata inapata puncture inagwarwa eh so ndio inakuja sasa mtu anazoea sasa mimi nimekuwa hapo and uh, no regrets eh, kufanya kazi science tv nashukuru sana kwanza i just I, i've always seen it as a blessing Yeah it has made me who I am today the pretty Brenda that you see <laughs> yeah. so I, I must thank uh, the founder a mm. uh, Luke mm. Uleka and others the HR everyone mm. because they are they are very good people very supportive and they try to correct you uh, where they see you are not going well ni kama tu kazi ni kwingine yeah that is good mm. ku have kupata job especially kwa media without tamaking <laughs> na sikia hata kwa media peke kwanza hiyo time ilikuwa mtu wa church <laughs> hey hapo hey, nimesahau we lakini hata yenyewe mm. i was really into church eh? i was really and i believe i'm not saying that uh, those that are not into church mm. by the way mimi si sijui kama niko i think i'm spiritual i'm not religious but i believe i believe in god mm and i believe god works miracles mm. yeah mm. and i believe it is a spiritual world lakini mm. hiyo time mwenyewe mungu alinifanyia favor mingi sana you know there, there there's one guy that i will never forget mwenye hata ananibeba mpaka leo kunileta hapa uko job eh? mm. um huyo mtu i remember kama tu niko katika hizo harakati zangu and you know saa zingine home pia walikuwa unajua ukisha ilifika mahali tume nimesahau kuambia kidogo after hizo mm-hmm. hustle nilikuja pia nikapata mtoi mm-hmm. after kupata mtoi um, my labor was complicated so ikakuwa premature and my, par- my parents said hawezi kaa huku nje mm-hmm. so you have mm-hmm. ndio tuweze kumonitor mtoi mm-hmm. so niliacha kazi nikaacha kila kitu nikakuja kulea mtoto so i stayed home for like two years mm-hmm. nikilea mtoi wangu mm-hmm and then after hapo ndo tukafungua hoteli mm-hmm. nikafungua hoteli mm-hmm. and then after some time sasa tena ndio nikarudi back to kutafuta kazi huku nje um i remember sasa siku moja nikiwa katika zile harakati za kwenda job nimevaa vizuri hiyo mm-hmm. time nilikuwa na sikuwa na pesa mm-hmm. hata yani nilikuwa tu na hasa lakini ukiniangalia wenye tu nimesema tukaenikaa tuko soko kila wakati mm-hmm. you think that huyu uh, mwanamke ako na pesa mm-hmm. and i remember sasa nimefika mahali um mtu wa pikipiki ananikujia kumbe he was one of my customers mm-hmm. nikifanya kwa hoteli mm-hmm akanembe hey Brenda atamisi mgombuki unaenda wapi nikamwambia inaenda job na I only had 60 bob in my pocket ya kukuja na kuenda and you know sometimes when you kuna kuanga ile distance ya pikipiki sasa hiyo hujakula mm-hmm. kwa tuna hiyo fare mm-hmm. tumdomo tumekauka uko na lip balm pale <laughs> lakini pia uko na lipstick <laughs> lakini juu ya nja mm kamdomo kamekauka so akaniambia unaenda pingamba eh hey, mimi hata sina hiyo pesa ya pikipiki tafadhali akaniambia na vile unakaa poa 
ah me ni kama mbaya kimi si na kani ambia tuende we ni wamungu. Mm. That's what he told me. And you know that guy, I'll never forget him because how could he cut here? The only thing he used to do, he used to preach to me. Na kani ambia na 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 upate kazi. Na ukubali ke yuko na kani ambia I am praying that you get more destiny helpers to help you. So alikuwa na niambia <coughs> upate more destiny helpers and then you encourage and then you must give up uko home says ngine na kejelio naambiwa <coughs> mkembezi ula migu yake yani because now unaenda uko nje na ukuji na chochote <laughs> you know because uh, people have expectations yeah. that ukienda uko nje you are coming with something ama some money mm. yeah so we we are jama his name is John sita <laughs> himself alikuwa ananibeba ananiambia Brenda every time unataka kwenda huko you call me nitakupeleka na nikitaka kwenda home ananirudisha without kunipa without kunipa so vile nilikuja nikapata job ah ni yeye sasa ndio mimi promote eh jo hata ile siku sitakuwa na do yeye tu bado atanibeba eh mimi wanasema kujuana na watu ni vizuri mm. na kutreat watu vizuri pia mm. ni kitu ya maana sana mm. like kukuwa na a good relationship with people because you never know where you guys are going to meet mm. unaona sasa huyu ni Mungu mm. Hmm? Mm. and i can count him as one of my destiny helpers mm. because unjia zilifunguka tu hivyo na zikafunguka hivyo 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 nikaanza pia kupata maform za do mm. unakuta niitwa huku nakuta naambiwa na mtu ni pikezi samosa unataka pesa ngapi hivyo mm. hivyo tu and, mm. and here i am today mm. um, i won't say that seen a challenges mm. but i am grateful to god uh, for the father that he has brought me yeah wow that is good very awesome and uh, as we are wrapping up i want you Brenda to tell us mm. some of the things that we outside there do wrong when interacting with the persons with uh, albinism mm-hmm. and uh, maybe demystify some of the things that we believe new mm-hmm. kweli about persons with albinism mm-hmm. utuambie ni nini tunafanyanga wrong mm-hmm. utu correct mm-hmm. utuambie tunafaa kufanya nini eh kwanza kabisa ningependa tu kusema hivi kuna ignorance kwa society na hii ignorance <coughs> mi pangu si sioni kisha yes uh, nowadays pia watu wamejaribu kuwa enlightened uh, watu wanaenda waki create awareness you know it's not only about albinism even if someone is too tall mm. unapata nga like watu wanaongea eh? mm. when someone is too short watu wataongea yeah. when someone is too dark or oh, what are some hey na huyo ni mgray yake you are like huyo hata imagine anaweza acha anaweza acha nini footprint kwa makaa you know people will always <laughs> have comments eh? mimi nikipita huko nje ama another person with albinism now that story ya pesa na tz ilitokea utasikia hiyo ni pesa inapita and then hata hiyo time ya corona ungesikia hiyo ni corona inapita ungesikia he huyu <clears throat> ni ki huyu eh, kuna myths kuna watu wengine wana believe that uh, akilala na wewe kama ko HIV positive atapona so unakuta you are also at risk of being gripped mm-hmm. or maybe lured into sex by someone uh, in 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 that believerty mm-hmm. atapona there are some people that still believe that mm-hmm. there are some people that believe um eh uh, tuko na nyota poa you know mm-hmm. kuna mwingine maybe hata ataku ataku tongoza labda kifikiria uh, utampea mtoto mzungu mm-hmm. Yeah. Na kuna ingine nisha sketi watu wako na albinism hawakufi wanapotea tu. <laughs> But uh, I'd like for people to know that we are human beings just like everyone else. We breathe. Um tunakula, we have feelings. We we have babies. We date, we are good mothers, we are good wives, we are good teachers, we have doctors, we have uh, presenters, news anchors, we have bankers, you know. And um, 
hakuna tofauti ni ile tu kuna wengine wako na fear of the unknown eh? na kuna mwingine anakudate lakini anafikiria you need pity we don't want pity we want acceptance but in order for that for us to be accepted for everyone to be accepted as a person you have to accept yourself the way you are hmm? ndio mtu mwingine ajue eh huyu wako hivi ama huyu ni kichwa ngumu wako hivi ama huyu huo ni mpole you know so uh, myths ni mingi beliefs ni mingi na ignorance itawaisha hata wa madaktari pia utasikia tu waki make comments huko nje eh comments zingine mpaka unaangalia mtu but mimi wasi take personal kuna mtu utamwambia kitu na ata take personal um Though kuna sometimes miss mama na na correct mtu depending on what i have had mm. yeah because uh, some people will make fun uh na it depend mm. so mimi pangu na depend but i i don't take it personal because i know ignorance is a waisha yeah to create awareness lakini just be you mm. Mm, just be you mtu ako na albinism ni mtu kama ule mtu mwingine Yeah. ni vile tu yeye mwenyewe amejibeba ndio atabebwa so nikirudia we don't want pity we just want acceptance and uh, what you need to know uh, while interacting with a person with albinism usishangae kwa nini macho yake inacheza cheza <laughs> kwa sababu a lot of people ask kwa nini macho yako inacheza cheza ni kwa sababu ya lack of melanin any lack of that pigment that is able to control light hiyo melanin wa ina control light enye mm-hmm. eh, watu wenye wako na hiyo melanin wako nayo mpaka kwa macho so utakuta albinism iko type 3 mm-hmm. I've forgotten the names mm-hmm. but there are those that just have albinism in the eyes mm-hmm. mwili iko sawa lakini kuna macho kuna wengine wanakaa kama wazungu wazungu hivi but nywele ni blonde ama grey mm-hmm. and then sasa kuna kama mimi mm-hmm. yeah but utakuta most of the time tuna tunachomwa najua kwa sababu of uh, lack of melanin so mm-hmm. kiandika mtu ako na albinism mm-hmm. hata kipiti anataka um accept na um place mm-hmm. in the right uh, area of work mm-hmm. mali penye ana too much exposure to mm-hmm. to the sun mm-hmm. ama mali hakuna joto mingi mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. just that hakuna kitu kingine tofauti mm-hmm. ati sijui nini mm-hmm. ama nini no si tumeka hapa na wewe si tunashare stories za mapenzi tunashare experiences za maisha hizi yeah. experience uko nazo ndio atamini uko nazo ya yeah. yeah, isipokuwa people have different uh, perspectives eh, labda wanaona labda wacha nionje hii labda ni tofauti <laughs> watu wako na hizo wako na notion kama hizo eh hey, wacha eh hey, wacha nionje hii hii inakaa kwa tamu zaidi ni ni hiyo ni kawaida. Ni kama tu vile mtu atasema eh huyu msichana mnono au msichana mwembamba anakaa kwa hivi na eh people will always talk. People will always have imaginations. Na tuache tu kutake vitu personal na ukiona mtu anaenda wrong, we mu educate. It depend na vile mtu atakua approach. Kuna wengine huwezi mu educate itabidi ukuwe mkali kiasi. Lakini si kila saa ukitembea ukisikia pesa you feel offended. No, just live your life go on mm. make the best of what you have yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, Brenda I can see that time is not on our side mm-hmm. but I want you to say a word to a parent who is out there watching us maybe amebarikiwa na mtoto wako na albinism maybe he or she is a parent or an auntie mm. an uncle shosho mm-hmm. maguka uh, tell them a word uh, about their child mm wasi mnini wasi yeah just tell them something about that child mm-hmm. wasi mtenge mm-hmm. because that child means something to the future mm-hmm. yeah yeah she's she has he or she has a future yeah, yeah tell them something yeah okay uh ningependa kuambia mzazi guardian yoyote pale nyumbani uh, that sasa uh, kukuwa kwa huyo mtoto mm-hmm. ndio kuja ajikubali ajipende na hata perform vizuri shuleni inaanza na wewe 
inaanza na wewe wewe ndio wewe ndio unachangia zaidi kwa uh, kukua kwa, kwa growth ya huyu mtoto wewe ndio una depend kama huyu mtoto atakuwa na low self esteem ama atakuwa na very high self esteem kama atajitambua so the moment unatenga huyu mtoto ama unamuonyesha piti ama unamuonyesha afai kufanya hivi ama afai kucheza na wenzake umemfungia pale even ndio ata grow and you see the dangers of 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 you of you not not exposing this child in a positive way inafanya people will start taking advantage of her in in future if it is men uh, they come to your girl uh, because now this girl doesn't love herself enough mtu akikuja kumapproach anaona kama ni favor you know so it is up to you as a parent to take good care of this child uh take uh, enough measures enough precautions mm. na kumkinga kum, kumsaidia kujua madhara ya mm. kwenda pale kwa jua those as ingine watoto ni vichangumu but try as much as you can kwa sababu persons with albinism are prone to skin cancer uh, if exposed to too much sunlight eh? na unajua cancer haina haina tiba especially skin cancer you can't do anything so wewe mzazi ndio chanzo cha growth mzuri kwa kwa huyu mtoto so try as much as you can to support your child so that they can be beautiful they can be handsome yeah they can uh, unaweza fanya kazi mahali kokote unaweza jiamini unaweza katiana huku nje eh hey. kwa sababu whether we like it or not hata wewe ulikatiwa ndio ukapata huyo mtoto sasa unataka huyo mtoto asikatiwe pia yeye yeah so hiyo tu Awesome. It has been honestly an amazing episode having you Brenda here. And uh, it's also important to note that uh, this is my first interview with a lady, so it will go down in my history <laughs> that this is my first I had my first interview with a lady, Brenda Nabututu. So thank you so much for accepting to come here at uh, my story to share your story of uh, inspiration and nasikeni kwa tu <laughs> Lazima ni kuite tena tuongelele hizo maneno zenye mm. as youths tuna face mm-hmm. as young people tuna face mm. lakini there is no one uh, wa ku point out mm. ku point kwa macho wa kuambia that mm. this is wrong this is bad you're doing wrong mm. telling us the truth straight to the point so quickly tell us your social media platforms where we can find you oh god um social media and or oh. Um Instagram Nabutu to Brenda Facebook Nabutu to Brenda TikTok Nabutu to Brenda Sina Sina mingi lakini yeah Nabutu to Brenda pale napenda jokes sana um karibu nifanye comedy lakini nikaiwa chawa cha kidogo but your dream haijakufa yeah na mtu akaweza taka kukubuk for umfanyia services za upishi bado uko na namba ama yeah. okay yeah niko na namba my number is 0793915180 that's my number 0793915180 whatsapp the same number yeah ah. thank you so much again brenda thank you so so much for coming here we are sure are going to have you again for a longer episode <laughs> and even have you as a unaona wale ni guests i don't know how to call them but ule guest mwenye unaonanga after every maybe a week mm. anakuja a week anakuja anatuambia a thing or two mm. and to educate about a thing or two mm. i think you will be the first one of us up at Orion production and uh, sita mind nitakuja kwa sababu kama kama unajua saa zingine kufunzana ndio kujifunza pia so once you you inspire someone or you you educate someone on something you get to learn to by sharing those the other different experiences so if someone is going to learn something from what you've had today itakuwa tu kwa sana nimekumbuka jina jina ni resident guest resident guest so brenda na bututu <laughs> and mtuambia hapo kwa comments mnafikiria aje about having brenda na bututu as our resident guest stroke psychologist because eh, nimesikia kona nini <laughs> brains brains about 
life lifestyle tips mm. uh, brains ako nazo mm. and uh, yeah mimi i will fight for that uko wa resident nini <laughs> psychologist mm. unakuja unatuambia <laughs> Unakuja unatuongelesha about uh, some of the things maybe we can sample uh, questions from our viewers eh tunauliza leo mnataka tuongelelee nini yeah unakuja unatuongelesha yes it has been an amazing episode uh, uh, here at my story uh, with uh, the one beautiful Brenda Nabututu ametuambia mengi sana 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 <laughs> a lot we've had a lot from Brenda Nabututu and uh, i guess for me what i can take out from uh, this uh, episode is acceptance accepting yourself first is the first step to achieving your success or achieving that thing that you want the most i've also realized that i forgot to introduce myself but <laughs> Uh, all the same uh, na washukuru sana kwa kuendelea ku watch kuendelea kutu support support has been amazing pale youtube na tiktok instagram uh, we are continuing to receive even your emails uh, that you want to share your stories we will try our best to sample all of you all of you who wants to who want to share your stories here at my story Ya, yeah, na muendelee ku subscribe, ku watch, ku share, eh, ukilan ka lesson, enda u practice na uambie the next person. Yes, and uh enda uambie my best zako that we exist here at my story, wakuje, tukuwe wengi, tukuwe familia kubwa, tuna share my stories. Yes, na na sisi tuta promise tuafanya kazi vizuri, hatuta watupa sana. Forgive us kidogo for ka inconsistency kidogo tu kidogo tu tulikuwa tunarekebisha some few things here and there but we promise you consistency and uh, nice nice stories yeah and of course many 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 good things coming kama sasa si tumepata our resident psychologist yeah so <laughs> mkuu sure that tutakuwa tunakosa tutakuwa tuna content after content after content after content yes and without further ado because i feel like i can talk a lot after kuongea na Brenda <laughs> My name is Nyambura Mbogwa uh, until the next episode guys see ya bye bye